try and squeak through past the trees. Try not to cut them down unnecessarily. Yeah. I think that'll be great. Terrox is concerned about what the island's going to look like with the coloured fields. I don't... You know what? I don't think they they do enough to differentiate the fields. They look very same-ish a lot of the time. Oh, this farm is going to erode that island. It's nothing. Yeah, possibly. I'm not going to worry too much about it, though. Right, let's speed things up. We've got one deranged person and two starving pe Oh, two children are starving. Stop starving, children. I demand that you have food. Which children are starving? Is it the humans? Yes, probably. When are we going to have... Vegetables. 4.6 days. 4.6 days. Yeah, we're quite low on everything. Uh, there's so little I can do about that, though. Other than reduce the amount that we lose to decay. Alright, let's try and purchase some fruit. I'd like 100 fruit, 100 veg. Exchange, I will offer you all of my opiates, all of my herbs, and a decent amount of fruit. Oh, good lord, they will take a lot. The furniture commands a high price. I approve. There we are. Accept. Let us hope that food gets here in time for the children. Latest economic policy. Drugs for food. With some chairs and tables on the side. I mean, how else are they going to take the drugs? Basic etiquette dictates that I make sure that they're able to enjoy them in comfort. Go. Immediately all being consumed, though, but... 3.6 days, we're going to have a gigantic harvest. Absolutely vast. Just got to hold out. Amavius is completely deranged right now. Or one of them. Seven days until the first harvest here, which is going to be humongous. Over here, much less so because we lost half of our trees, sadly. So, that's just the way that one's going to be, though. Probably time for me to put down another cotton farm as well. Thinking about it. Doing with odd jobs. We're actually doing okay with odd jobbers. Let's have a look at how my training is going. Only one needs a bit of top-up training to maintain the 40% melee training for the Rose Thorns. And we're up to 29% of the 70% training for Ethan's Immorals. Very nice. We are selling some more furniture as well. How are the granaries doing? Or rather, the bakery. The bakery is just churning through this stuff now. But they're also churning through wood as well at, the, at a fairly breakneck pace. Still, it's quite uh, appreciated. Yeah, I think the furniture is what we're going to probably be selling the most of for a little, for a little while. 
that will be keeping us going. Oh, we've got the pottery. Do I have enough of everything else I need? Yes, there we go. Posh places to poop. That's what this colony needs. How can they be satisfied with drab, uninspiring poop places? Globdian pasture can go now. And pop. Let's get rid of you. That'll free up a lot of livestock for us to collect, along with, with a lot of uh, wood to collect as well. Frankly, it's probably time for me to move these as well. If I'm honest. Yes. Let's get them down there as well. Okay. That is going to leave a lot of collections to happen. That should give us a huge amount of people available to our jobs. And uh, the green farm over here is already on the go. There we are. The massive amount of uh, veggies being brought in. Two days on a bumper harvest over there. Alright, I think we're in a fairly comfortable place food-wise. The only thing that would be really nice to get is mushrooms, so I'd stop purchasing those. But it is nice for people to be able to always have whatever food that they want. And I might have to dial back on that, because it is it is really expensive for me to keep importing them like that. Um, getting another long, uh, sorry, onx pasture would be useful. Exposure? Oh dear. Someone wasn't able to get clothes. There's loads of clothes around, though. Uh, but another long haul, uh, sorry, uh, onx pasture would be useful so that I can have more cotton available. Yeah, I think we're going to go for that. Let's see about having a fairly large pasture around here. Also, who that? Lazarus, thank you ever so much. 76 happy months of watching you stream. Thank you for doing such a lovely job with all of your YouTube videos also. Thank you so much, mate. That's incredibly kind of you to say. Really appreciate you mentioning the YouTube videos. They certainly take a lot more effort than streaming, but I've... I don't know, it's where I started and it's where my uh, where my heart still remains. I get a massive kick out of doing the editing and all of the creative elements of producing YouTube videos. There we go, let's bring this down a little bit more. Let me shape this around this area. Can I expand it up here much? Uh, I sort of can. Let's pull that back a bit. And continue to expand these pastures out. Oh, I can't put any more on that side, fair enough. That'll do. Alright, we want a gate about here. Hut. Hut. And trough. And done. Let's get them on the go. Uh, we can probably fit a couple more houses around here, and I kind of like the idea of having a few more. Just kind of dotted around. Closer to the pastures. Making, sh like, more shepherd's housing at that point.
those trees. Path all the way up there. Have a path sort of following down here. This pasture. Yep. Right, let's throw down a couple of houses because we definitely need the uh, the living space, I think. Uh, walls around them as well. Now, could I easily fit these on this side? Yes, I can. Maybe a little apartment? No. Can't fit one up over there either. I could fit one down here, though. Sure. Yeah. It's a little bit of hodgepodge, but I think I'm going to like the... Uh, just trying to fit things in kind of aesthetic that's going on as a consequence of it. Get some extra decorations though as well. And then a little bit of a road running up here. There we go. employing oh good there we are that is properly employing yes they have stored all the, f the uh, vegetables they can though there's not enough for this the the amount that we bring in we bring in a vast harvest perhaps I should put little uh, granaries nearby the uh, locations where things are harvested that will then try to empty into this one. Because that one does have four whole um, spots for putting all of this stuff in. Yeah. I think one or two because this is going to be my... Oh, maybe I should just double this up. As a... Uh... Yeah, we could do. I could double the amount of uh, storage space this has. Might be worth it, actually. Uh, right, okay, so copy... I'm going to place that over here. Now, what I'm immediately going to do is first pause. Then I'm going to delete room. Because now I've got the shape that I want. Let's go ahead. Construction. Door. That. Now, technically, this can, I can, like, dig this back, if tis my wish, and perhaps tis. Let's refill this wall first. done. Move the refill wall task over to here. All the way down. I'm going to need to dig out this route around. Yep. And also going to need to dig this mountain out as well. Alright. Crack on them, peeps. Got a lot of work to do. We're going to make one mahusiv. Effectively, just going to mirror this, but it'll it'll be one massive storage area. It's probably going to be a lot faster than building a bunch of separate uh, storage areas. Though. 
does hurt my soul a little bit, seeing all of that food just out and about. Uh, thunk. Alright, so, can I not build under here? I'm not able to build... Oh, I'm not. Well, that's a little bit vexing, but okay. Um, looks like I am actually going to have to fill that in. I was expecting to be able to just uh, have that as my walls, but no. Yeah, that'll do. I guess part of this place will be under the mountain then. I suppose that isn't so bad. I do like that they are intelligent about the way they fill things in. Oh my lord, the amount of games that I play that there is no intelligence to the way things are filled in. Right, we want to expand out all the way down here. Thank you very much, Lee. Doors there. Now, as for crates, pretty much need these in the same locations. completely missed out on setting up some of these. There we go. And done and done. Can't place any anything in here, so I could just fill it up. And then crack on. Oh, oh. Wrongful deaths. A brawl. Oh, God. You're conducting a funeral. Are you sure you're not the one who brawled with them? Yes, okay. You're taking the. the why did they get into a brawl right out there? Tensions are rising, apparently. Hey, you want to fight? <laughs> then fighting words. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I suppose it isn't too hard to get into a brawl if you're dedicated to it. Hopefully they can get all of that done pretty quickly. And they are very rapidly setting up the Onks Pash. Oh, there's all the fruit as well. Oh, this is great. Main thing is I just want to be able to store it all. Go and done. Right, so uh, it's literally four of each. everything. Okay, this should be able to hold a very sizable amount of stuff. Uh, let's just see how that goes. My hope is that we quickly see these employees rushing out to gather all of their stuff in these fields. Of course, fish as well. See how quickly this fills up, though. It may fill... Right, we're about half as full of uh, veg as we can be. Got almost all the grain we can store. And we probably will hit that very quickly. Yeah, this field is already just full of grain. Oh, 
You know what? I, I actually think I need a much larger dedicated granary. Oh, well, that being said, we still haven't stored all of the uh, fruit that we can. Uh, all of the veg that we can. And nowhere near the fruit. Just making sure we've got enough people now. How many people are working in here now? There are six delivery men. <laughs> nice. Alright, well there's definitely going to be plenty of food available. There's, that's not going to be a problem at all. Did we upgrade this one? Yes, we did. 44 fish coming in. Nice. As long as I stay above these uh, lowest thresholds, I'm not going to try importing. And if that's the case, then much more of my available resources will be uh, moved to... Uh, sorry, uh, my wealth will be used for other things. Uh, bringing in ores and such. We are going to need to expand my ability to weave, though. That much is very clear. Uh, could just expand out further. That might be the best way to do it. The easiest way for me to achieve that is to choose stone and find a spot like this where I can just pop two, uh, two openings in there. And as soon as they're done with that, just build up a new wall right around it. There we go. So, we'll refurbish. I'm sure this is going to be stone. Something like that. Extra looms. Auxiliary looms. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more space for this. Uh, in that case, if I'm pushing it back this far anyway... Let's pop the two looms on this side. Another one. There. Let's see if I can squeeze in the amount that I need. Oh, almost. Anywhere else I could fit this. Um... Maybe. If I had to do something like this, it is possible that I'd be able to fit in enough auxiliary loomage. Uh, let's tidy this up a little bit then. As that'll give me a little bit more space that I can use in the future. Damn it. I was really hoping that that would work. <laughs> but it would... Definitely be worth me having a little bit of room to run a uh, door up here. Alright, well, we'll just leave it like that then. That's going to add a bunch of extra people to this. Let's go ahead. Oh, really? Have I not got the storage anymore? Oh. Storage right there, and done. And once that's done, I will expand out my tailor an equal amount. Well, I say equal. I'll basically uh, just add a loads more uh, tailoring stations and just hope that it'll be able to match. Being sick sucks. Time for a massive, giant central stockpile. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was <laughs> I read that ages ago, and uh, then the I, I somehow missed the being sick sucks part, and I thought it, it was a continuation of that. My bad. 
I'm sorry to hear this sick though. How are we doing over here? Uh, we've still got loads of room for fruit. So I'm kind of surprised that we're not bringing more of that in. There we go. They are going to be crazy busy come harvest time. But all of that grain has already moved on. Already been brought all the way up here. Which is fair, because this place goes through grain at, at crazy speed. And this place should be able to ramp up production of cloth quite aggressively, considering how many uh, jobs we have. Wow, okay, 16 Cretonians want to move in. Do we need 16 Cretonians? Uh, you know what, sure, I'll take them. Uh, two Amevis. Right, let's have a look at our jobbers. Are many of them human? Yes, 18 of them are human. Okay, well, given that, I think one of the big important things for us to do is to set up an embassy so I can start interacting with our neighbor in a more meaningful way. So, also administra uh, administration is where we would manage other realms that we conquered. But, an embassy is where we can start sending out emissaries. And, of course, spying on people. Ah, we need paper. Balls. And all but guarantee that it's not going to be easy for me to make. Nine hundred? Damn it! Alright. Expensive. But not beyond our reach. I'm going to spend an awful lot of iron on upgrading my carpenter's workshop because I would very much like to be able to turn more wood into furniture be a huge thing for us actually this place is ramping up more and more production would be nice to see our workload is actually quite low surprised me a little bit considering we've got all of this material here They're making clothes pretty much as fast as they're getting cloth at the moment. I'm just going to leave them focused on that for now. We've got loads of fish at this point. Do I want to sell the excess fish that we've got? Because we don't really do anything else with it. Um... Yes. Yes, I do. Make sure that you've got at least one person there. Uh, activate it. There we go. Um, and we want to sell down to anything over 90%. Well, we store a lot of fish. So there's a good chance that we won't get that much, but we've got over a thousand fish available and we're going to lose 34% of it just from it being stored. So there's a part of me that's like, yeah, maybe I should just get rid of some of that. Um, the other thing is, of course, I could increase rations. That would massively improve people's happiness, but... Man, your city looks so good. Mine resembles a hive city from 40k. <laughs> I mean, that's good in a different way, that's all. Very efficient, I'm sure. Alright, let's have a look down here. Uh, 
right now I think we're pulling in enough that we're not going to have to worry too much. But... We've already, wow, okay. Is that already... That's already at max animals? We've got 106 livestock still over there? Wow, okay. That's impressive. And no mistake, that's very impressive, actually. I could make another Globdian pasture, then. If I wanted to, just to uh, bring in more eggs per day. Um... Really auto employ. Uh, either that or another rock pasture for, for the leather. Is lifespan? Uh, is the lifespan longer at least? What? Oh right, in forty k. <laughs> One would hope. What's the lifespan on a forge world? Pretty slim, isn't it? So we've got housing here that has no one living it. Wow, okay, that's the first time we've seen that in a long time. Okay, I'm actually all aboard for that one. Uh, we might want to just get another research place down then. Because we're going to need the ability to make paper. There is no way we can afford to buy that stuff. It is so expensive. It is shockingly expensive to purchase. We're selling fruit, bread, um, vegetables, meat, fish. Are we selling eggs? I don't think we are. No, we're not. That's fine then. Um... So I could easily add eggs in here. There is a big part of me that kind of wants to stop importing mushrooms. So much so, in fact, that I am in, I am just going to stop. So yeah, Tunk. no more importing of mushrooms. I'm also going to say no more importing of eggs. Keep those reserved for other things. Money is actually starting to go back up. Well, it was going up very, very briefly, and it is now all gone. So I'm going to guess that we just bought a humongous pile. Yeah, ore. Ore and clay. Very well. All aboard for that. Well, we can use some of the clay to upgrade our wells, just as soon as it arrives. I'll wait for it to actually make its way to a stockpile, though. There we are. Do the thing! I refuse. You can't make me. Twenty-four metal. Well, we did get some ore. Very briefly. It is being used. Sadly, I don't think it's going to be enough. Well, I could be wrong. Actually, yeah, it was twenty-one. Twenty-three. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Damn it. Pardon me, it's like, well, maybe I should just go over here and mine the ore myself. Uh, there is a, there is a deposit of ore over here. Would that be any value to me, though, realistically speaking? Uh, it's such a tiny deposit, I can scarcely imagine I'll be able to use it. Still, I've got the workforce right now, so I... You know what? You know what? I want to know how much I would get from mining this whole deposit. Production would be 5.46 units of ore a day. Which means we would be producing... About... Well, we would be producing less than 100 units a year. <laughs> I 
That is not... I mean, we pay a lot of money for it, though. But it would take 68 workers. <laughs> well, that's the maximum amount. <laughs> no, <laughs> I refuse. There's no point. Unless we have some massive gains on our ability to, to mine, which we don't, there is no point. Not in that. Uh, Training-wise, doing good. Up to 49% now. It's actually quite nice. 200 and 200. Have a look at you. 260, yeah, that's correct. Actually, I could uh, go for 40 there and pump that up to 30. Okay. All right with that. I'm going to need a decent amount more training happening, but we are getting there. And this is keeping the raid chance at a pretty tolerable uh, shy of 15%. Now, in terms of, yeah, we could increase the efficiency. You're right. But it's 250 a pop. I would sooner just buy the ore until I've conquered an area where I can then have the ore as tax. At least for now. I almost want to put a door through he to here or something, but sadly, not quite as easy. The problem is, is we're storing a lot of, uh, a lot of this elsewhere. For example, down here. I'm storing up, I've still got like a good bit to go before I'm up to 160 and then I stop pulling it down here. But this is just so important for us to have. Now, is there any material left in the fields? seem to be okay in that regard. Okay. Why did I even open my mouth? On the plus side, we do have a lot of fruit, a lot of... Uh, that's going to drop so hard. Uh, a lot of... Uh, wait, hang on. Why are half the trees gone? No. Did we lose half the trees over here as well? Oh man, that sucks. That really sucks. At least we're bringing in a harvest of vegetables right now. The timing on that was perfect. And we will also be bringing in a harvest of fruit as well. So uh, that should be okay. Getting the harvest in right now is likely going to save us. Yeah, we've got loads of uh, fruit and veg now. Right, chat. I'm afraid it is really time for me to wrap things up. There is a brawl and <laughs> once again, someone being dragged off. Maybe you should stop having fights out in the the fields. <laughs> My goodness. But it really is time for me to wrap things up. I have dragged this out a little bit longer than I should have because I'm having so much bloody fun. Uh, but I'm really happy with where we've managed to get to. We are producing our own metals now. We've actually upgraded it, several of our uh, manufacturing businesses. It's not going to be too long before we get to a point where we're no longer 
just basically trying to fill in the uh, the gaps. This area down here is taking a lot of our resources from elsewhere. And that's going to be the way it is for a little bit. We're almost full on uh, pottery, so it's no longer to be pulling those down. We're almost full on cut stone, almost full on cloth. And most other things are already up to where they need to be. We've upgraded several of our buildings in terms of their tier. Uh, the markets, the uh, lavatories. We've got a noble. Got a nice big shrine over there. The farming down here is massively expanded. I'm actually really, really happy about this. Uh, this has gotten much closer to the sort of numbers that I wanted to see. Currently got 262 uh, working in agricultural jobs out of 691. That is a much more uh, acceptable number. We've also managed to upgrade a few of the jobs. Not all of them. But uh, the fish is definitely doing amazingly well. Meat is doing okay with the various pastures. Bread is fantastic. Uh, vegetables, fruit, when you know we don't have droughts and our orchards don't get absolutely decimated, then uh, the fruit is also okay. It would be nice to set up mushrooms. Um, it would be nice to get another Globdian pasture so that we've got some more eggs. Maybe uh, something up here, perhaps. Uh, in terms of living space, I honestly feel that down on this side, it is the better, more um, well-laid-out city. In fact, it's the only one with a bathhouse still is uh, a little bit upsetting, but we'll try and fix that in the next stream. Uh, more people have been moving away from this part of the city, just because we don't need them up here. Uh, we have started bringing in infants. Like There are at least a couple of the people that we have who are... If we have a look for native, I believe we should be able to see. Citizens... Uh, no, that's not what we want. Uh, let's look for... Well, actually, citizen, sure. And then we look for... I think native is in here. Uh, native, yeah, there we are. So, quite a lot of people have got 6%. Can we not find anyone else? Oh, that's pretty sure. None? Will there be any any more natives? No, okay. Well, maybe uh, that isn't going to count for now, then. Unless, perhaps, I choose children. No, they're all they're all six percent native. Okay, well maybe I just don't understand how that works. Then I was expecting that to be a, an expression of uh, whether they were born here or not, or whether they uh, emigrated. But the big one outstanding is the smithy for cons uh, for building tools. Once we've got tools, we're going to be able to drastically increase the rate at which we're able to produce more or less anything else. We've got a delivery of all right there. Uh, the fact that we are producing enough furniture to basically fund purchasing the ore is a huge thing for us. If we can get to the point where we're selling arms and armor, that will be an even bigger thing for us because they, they command a huge price. If we could get to the point where we're making war hammers out of, out of metal, I think that probably would be a very wise place for us to aim for. Just because of how strong an economy that would give us uh but still the the first and probably most important thing is to get tools in our own people's hands and uh obviously get some more clothes on their backs because sadly we have massively increased our population and that has come at a certain cost to our population's ability to clothe themselves so uh that that one's not the best part but uh got quite a few things still to do i'm really happy with the expansion down here in the matten district i was hoping to have started on the lumbering district but that's gonna have to wait a little bit longer it seems and uh, once we've got both of those districts set up either i will make a third district that will be a production district and then this will become a purely administrative district 
or I will start reorganizing this to be uh, like one half of it administration and the other half production with a massive central warehouse. And with the idea that the external districts send materials in there and then it distributes them across the, the production facilities. And then little warehouse uh, like uh, this one will fetch the necessary materials to supply their local populations. That's the goal, anyway. But, that is it for us. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope those of you who were not familiar with the game have had a good chance over these last eight or so hours to get an idea of what this game can be. And uh, if you are interested in it, do remember to go and wishlist it on Steam, or, uh, or pick it up, obviously, if you're in the position to do so. But, uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed. I had a blast. 